Hello, hello, hello. This is just a short video to tell all you. I can't find you, but I'm doing good. And I thank all you, all those who call and all those who are. Um, so, you know, we hear you sick. We wish you, we wish you to get better quick, quick, quick. I want to thank you all for that. You know, every day when you have the breath of life, you have to tell God thanks. And don't ever take it for granted. Because when that day, like in the days of sickness, it should be in days of sickness, that is when you just know how important that breath is that God gave you and why he gave it to you. And majority of the times people don't know. The reason why God gave you that breath is to encourage others, to tell people about his love, his mercy, his grace. And yes, you know, he put us on our earth so we can talk about other things too. But the majority, the, the real reason is to declare God's name, give him praise when you get up in the morning, when you get up in the, when in the evening, no matter what time of the day. Say thank you, Jesus, for the breath of life. Give him praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the glory. Because he deserves it. Life. Mm -mm. Nothing to play with. Um, so, I have this just one scripture verse that came to my mind. And it says, Fear thou not. For I am with you, with thee, as the King James has put it. Be not, be, be not be dismayed, for I am your God, my God. I will strengthen thee, me. Here, I will help thee, ye. Yeah. I will uphold thee with thy right hand of righteousness, with my right hand of righteousness. And when you are, well, when you are sick, in order to, for you to keep your mind um, not wandering all over the place and experiencing madness, because, you know, when sickness comes, something just try to tell you, hey, you're taking a plane out, <laughs> you know? So, you have to use these scriptures in order to combat some of the things that comes to your mind. And that Proverbs, um, Isaiah 41.10 you know, it's a verse that I love. And um, another thing too, if you really, 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 really think that not only a scripture verse, not a scripture verse only is doing the trick to keep your mind occupied on the things of God while you go through, Find a song, and I'm telling you, I found a song, you know, found a song. i just give all you a little tip, yeah. I've got some blessings that I don't deserve. I've got some scars, but that's how you learn. It's nothing short of a miracle here. Yeah, you hear the song? It's a boss song. I think it over and it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I know it comes from above. I've got miracles, a miracle. A million little miracles. Mm -hmm. Miracles, a miracles. Count your miracles. One, two, three, four. Can't even count them all. 
can't even count them all. Can't even count them all. I used to tell you how God has been good to me. I might be sounding faint, but you know what? I don't know if it's loud. Yeah. So, when I get better, but not better, but a lot better. Mm -hmm. I'll be shouting, screaming to the top of my lungs. Oh, God is good. You know? You know? And I want to say, um, you know, I was, yesterday was the queen funeral, going home service. And I say, oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. And when I think maybe one of the, um, the, the, the ministers said, um, you know, because the queen is living her life in public. You know, there are a lot of families. There are a lot. There, there, there are a lot of families who are also going through this time of grief, and and you know, there's a lot of death around. So, condolences to all those who lost people thus far. You know, in this week and all, you know, I'm watching at the Larry main incident. Another friend of mine is gone. You know. It's sad, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad. Um, so people know what all they're doing in these days. They don't know what all they're doing. The peace of God is something that you have to get in order to survive in this last day. You know? And how do you get the peace of God? Accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Don't make His blood. Don't make His sacrifice be in vain. It is not worth it to go to a Christless eternity. It does not. Trust me. Mm -hmm. If you think here is trouble, wait till you reach that Christless eternity and see what's going on. I'm not one to be preaching doom and gloom, but a perfect analogy like I heard. Well, it's a perfect analogy to me. You know? you going to walk your dog in your backyard and when you get when you open the door as soon as you open the door and you go to step you and that dog you realize this big big snake outside what you do you pick up your dog slam the door and you run back inside yeah but first before you reach outside to walk the dog you had a friend lying in with you and when you reach back up the stairs, you realize your friend going somewhere. And you, you, you say, where are you going? When you ask your friend, where, where, where are you going? And the friend said, I'm going outside. I want to take some fresh air. And that same backyard. And you like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. When your friend reach outside now, same backyard, realize she's, she, got, she got bit by a snake. Feel inside. Oh, oh, oh. A snake just bit me. And you like, oh, cool. Not not really cool, but uh, um okay. And it was like your friend stopped in mid air like why are you acting so cool? Oh because I didn't I, I didn't know if I had a snake out there. So before your friend reach outside, what you were supposed to do? Not give her a warning and say, Hey, to go outside, you know, girl, to have a snake. Now, if you tell the person it had a snake before they go, is either one out of two things because people have choices. Is either she'll say, Not me, no, she stay in the house. But you didn't tell her. And that come like people who you lie with and you associate with. You're not telling them about the love of Jesus Christ. And it comes like that. If you know something, not that you're trying to push Jesus down people's chest, but there's danger around the corner. If you don't give your life to Christ and you give them that warning 
And after that, if they make a choice to serve Jesus, then all well and good. Because really and truly, once you give people the information and they choose otherwise, that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that comes like when you meet people, the word of God says that we have to go and make disciples of right? Go preach the word, carry the good news. And if you don't do those if you if we don't do those things as believers and keep it to ourselves, then it is not making sense that you have friends or people who you call your loved ones because you are not doing it. And it does not read well. Because, let's say, heaven is a place where you can literally make out everybody. And you realize it's just you alone. Well, in the first place, I don't think you should be there. If you didn't tell anybody. And it's just you alone. What fun that will be. Mm -hmm. I want to kill myself laughing and saying, Oh God, we make it, girl. We were so bad. Look the back now. Look the back now. Yeah, and killing myself laughing. And you know, God say, oh boy, thank God only accept my son Jesus Christ, you know, because I don't know what would have happened with all you, you know. And it could be a, a, a kickback moment, you know, be, be, be hanging out in heaven, but when you go by yourself, I don't know how you should by yourself in, if you do happy thing that God tell you anyway, you know. So give people a warning, tell people, you know what, it's our hell, it's our hell. But have a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. And that snake analogy, tell you people, tell people that Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven. Well, to get in the presence of God. Yeah? Talking to Ollie and I'm starting to feel a little giddy headed, but that is okay. But that is what I want to tell you all today. Let people know about the dangers of not serving Jesus Christ, accepting him, and let them have that choice. It is better to say something than not to say nothing at all. And don't, and even though they say that's your belief, then, yeah, that is your belief. And what do you know if they ask you those questions? Like for example, if if somebody uh, if you ask somebody, um, so what is your favorite color? And they tell you, my favorite color is what I like. I like sky blue. So the person says sky blue. You can't turn around and tell the person what you know about yeah what what you know. All what they know, they love sky blue because they have, they, 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 that's what they know, yeah? And it has some people who believe and who know, like how I know Jesus, I believe in him. And you can't tell me that I don't believe and I don't know because that is what I know. I know my favorite color is sky blue and I will tell you about sky blue. Not that, not, not that I want you to choose sky blue, right? It's just a matter of what we know for a fact that you know and i know jesus is real for a fact and that is what i believe mm? and i know people cannot enter into the kingdom or see god face if they don't accept jesus christ as their personal savior that is a fact that is a belief and that is exactly what i know yeah so give your life to christ Give all your life to Christ and don't die soon. Okay? The snake in the backyard. You know where the backyard is? Earth. Earth is the backyard. So, before we jump out to the backyard, without, no, before we jump out of this earth, let's make sure and give our life to Christ. Okay? I don't know how long was that, but bye. Bye. Miracles and miracles.